Welcome to Softbit Designs YouTube channel. Softbit Designs develops electrical machine design software packages. This video is specifically on HT Transformer Design Software. In this video we will explain you how to use HT Transformer Design Software tool for designing HT Transformers. We will design a 1000 kVA 11 kV transformer using this design tool. Let us open new design interface by clicking upon new icon. Now we will enter the required values. Let us enter KVA rating as 1000, HT voltage as 11000, LT voltage as 433, phase as 3, impedance as 4.75, load loss as 12750, no load loss as 1150, select transformer service type as outdoor type, temperature rise oil 40 degrees C and finally, temperature rise winding as 50 degrees Celsius. Now press submit button to transfer this data to main interface of HT transformer design software. You can see all the parameters transferred to main interface like KVA rating as 1000, HT voltage as 11000 volts, LT voltage as 433 volts, HT winding connections we take as delta and LT winding connection as star, percentage impedance as 4.35, no load loss as 1100 watt, load loss as 12450 watt. Then comes eddy current loss and stray loss. These two losses are taken as percentage of load loss. The percentage veil can be set at default page. Next comes flux density. The value of flux density is taken in Tesla and varies between 1.5 to 1.65 depending upon the client specifications and rating of transformer. Next comes core grade and lamination thickness. You can select from available core grades, M3, M4, M5, and M6. Corresponding thickness of lamination automatically changes. For grade M3 lamination thickness is 0.23 mm, for grade M4 the lamination thickness is 0.27 mm, for grade M5 the lamination thickness is 0.30 mm and finally for grade M6 the lamination thickness is 0.35 mm. The specific core loss value can be entered as supplied by the manufacturer of the core. Then you can select core type design, shell type design or shell type wound core transformer design. These selections pure depend upon the designer and client specifications. Next comes choosing the core steps. From red text box you can select a core step value from 1 to 13. Is mainly for rectangular core design. Now you can edit the window height factor value to get the desired height of transformer. Corresponding width of transformer will change automatically. Default value for window height factor is 7.5. Click inside the box and change the value with your mouse wheel. You can select HT winding type and LT winding type from drop-down menus. You can select cross over or foil from the HT drop-down menu. Same way you can select spiral or foil from LT drop-down menu. Next you can select winding conductor material. Two options are there, copper or aluminum. Select as per your design requirement. Now enter tapping details you need. Otherwise, enter zero in the first text box if no tapping is required. You can set the number of LT turns and HT turns from K factor. Click inside the text box and move your mouse wheel up. LT and HT turns start reducing. Move the mouse wheel down and the turns start increase. This will also reset the core diameter automatically. Next you can set core space factor and core stacking factor. Now we move to second column where you can reset the clearance and gaps. Let us first process a design to see the effects on change in parameters. Click green auto button on top of the interface to start automatic processing of a 1000 kVA transformer design. Very first gap is from top of HV winding to pressure ring in MM. Then we enter thickness of pressure ring and we see clearance from pressure ring to top yoke. The sum of these three values is the fourth value which is HV to yoke top. In smaller rating transformer the thickness of pressure ring can be put zero and other two values can be added and some of these two values would be the HV to yoke top now. Then enter LV to yoke clearance. If a HV leg has multiple coils like 4, 6, 8, 
10 and so then you need to give a spacer in between each coil. This block is called a spacer. The spacer thickness is to be entered here. It can vary from 2 mm to 10 mm depending upon the KVA rating of transformer, type of the winding type. Crossover or disc. In foil winding no such spacer is required so make it zero. Then you need to enter the quantity of spacer blocks below each coil. This affects the axial force on windings. In case you are using a helical type LV winding then you need to enter a gap value at LV turn spacer gap. For spiral or layer winding this gap can be put zero. While the winder in the winding section is making LV and HV coils. He comes across a problem of uneven wire or strip length because of insulation or for some other then he has to give some gap between each turn in HV and LV coils. This is called gap LV conductor and gap HV conductor. This can also be considered as working clearance. A value 0.25 mm is sufficient for this gas. But you can increase this value as per your requirements. Then come LV to HV clearance. This is the clearance between LV winding and HV winding. This value must be selected properly depending upon the HV voltage and LV voltage. For heat dissipation of windings and coils to oil the windings are split into two sections. The gap between the two sections is called oil duct as oil is filled in these gaps. This gap for oil duct is generated while making the coil. This can be had only in one winding, HV or LV or in both the windings. Next comes core to LV clearance. This again depends upon the winding voltage and KVA rating of the transformer. Phase to phase clearance or phase to phase gap is maintained as outer winding is high voltage. And the voltage of high voltage winding may be any value from 3.3 kV to 132 kV. So this gap must be maintained carefully or as per prescribed standards you are following to design the transformer. Finally, a gap in the middle of HV winding is required if you are designing a transformer with tapping. From this gap the tapping are taken out so a gap is required. Again maintain it well as per your experience or consulting a winding supervisor. Next we see the text tabs, winding, insulation, radiators, tank clearance, conservator and connection box. These all text tabs are in minimized position. Each of these text tabs has a down arrow on top right corner of the text. Click upon this arrow to expand and see the all parameters available in that text tab. Once a text tab is expanded you can change values of parameters shown inside the text tab. Let us now expand and minimize each tab and see parameters within each. To expand winding text tab click upon the down arrow on top right of winding text tab. You see parameters like coils, layers, parallel, conductor axial, conductor radial and LT strip width. Their parameter are available for both HV and LV windings. You can change any parameter as per your design requirements. Click inside the text box of HV coils and change the value and see the dynamic changes in the image. Similarly, you can change other parameters here to see the effects on design. To minimize this winding text tab now click upon the up arrow on top right of text tab and it is minimized. Next we expand the insulation text tab. Under this tab we can change the HV and LV conductor insulation. You can also change the layer insulation of HV and LV windings. See the dynamic effects in drawings if you change the HV conductor insulation. You have to be very precise and alert while changing the conductor insulation. As you change the conductor insulation of HV winding conductor, its coil diameter changes and this dimensional change directly affects the percentage impedance of the transformer. Minimize this text tab. Now we expand radiator text tab. Under this tab comes PSR type radiators and corrugated type radiator. Select PSR type radiators first. First option is to select 3 tube, 5 tube or 7 tube PSR section for cooling. Then you see horizontal distance between two radiators. Then how many sections you want per radiator. See the changes in the drawings. Then you can change the length of the PSR section. You can insert flange and valve by clicking upon the corresponding check boxes. 
Again minimize this TXT tab by clicking upon the up arrow. To change the tank inside clearance or gaps between core and coil assembly and tank walls expand tank clearances text tab. You can change all the gaps and clearances from all around the core and coil assembly. If you are using tapping in the HT winding then you can set following gaps. Height of the tap switch, width of the tap switch, gap between core top and bottom of tab switch, top of tap switch to top cover of transformer. All these parameters have a direct impact on the dimensions of the transformer. Minimize the tap now. Click upon the conservator text tab to expand it. See the parameters under this tab those can be changed to get desired location and size of the conservator tank. Finally, click upon connection box text tab and expand it. Here you can select the location of insulators and connection box. You can display the insulators on top cover or on side wall of the tank. If you select top then only insulators would be displayed. And if you select side then insulators with connection box would be displayed. Hope you are enjoying the design and video. Let us now see the output winding data. This is displayed in the middle of the interface in the third blue column. You see LV winding data, HV winding data, HV tapping data and dual winding data. At the bottom of the data you see winding tab, core tab, GTP tab, turn ratio error and winding details tab. Let us see what data is available under each tab. Click the winding tab and you see winding data of HV and LV windings. Then core tap is there to see core lamination data. You can export the core data to Excel sheet by pressing the button. Next tab is GTP tab. Click upon it and you see a button export to Excel. Press the button and all GTP data is exported to Excel. Next is turn ratio error. Click upon this tab. Finally you see windings details tab. After clicking upon it you see two buttons, HT winding and LT winding. Click upon the HT winding and you get only HT winding data for winding section to make HT coils. Similarly, you can generate LT winding data sheet in Excel for winding section to make LT coils. Finally, at bottom you see core data and design check tabs. In core data tab you see core diameter, window height, limb center, gross core area, net core area, winding weight and core weight. On the right hand side of the core data you see tank dimensions, transformer dimensions, tank weight, total transformer weight, oil quantity in the tank. Below this you can core step details. This shows the width of each step and width stack. Click upon the design check and you see temperature rise, temperature gradient and thermal time constant. Now let us see where we store the default values. Click edit and then default values. Here you see different tabs like standard, LT winding, HT winding, clearance, core, percentage value, tank, performance and material cost. You can save values under these tabs and those stored values can be used while designing a new transformer. Now we put an end to this video. Soon we will come with another video showing you more features of HT transformer design software. Till then have a nice time. Welcome to Softbit Designs YouTube channel. Soft